Today we will take a look at these bad boys. We have the Tactus stage from Crest and we have the Ionic 16 from Waves. And these are both my uh, units. Uh, this one, the, the Tactus, I've, I've been using for about one and a half year. And uh, this one I bought as soon as it came out, I think about uh, a year ago. And I think it's basically the same price for both units, uh, around uh, $3,800. Uh, and I just heard that the Tactus uh, unit has been discontinued. so. It might be a, a bit tricky to to get get hold of, of uh, this unit. Uh, this one should be uh, in stock uh, basically everywhere. So let's go through both of these and check out all the features and why you would choose one or the other. So both of these are stage boxes for the Waves LV1 system. And to my knowledge, they don't work with any other uh, system. So uh, if you have a uh, D-Live or, or a Yamaha or something, uh, this will not work with, with those. Uh, these are for the Waves LV1. So let's start with the Tectus stage from Crest Audio. Uh, so you have, uh, let's see, let's actually remove all of these dust caps. So we can have a good look at, oh, come on. All right, so we have uh, 32 inputs. We have 16 outputs. And in addition to that, we have uh, two AES outputs and that's two stereo AES outputs. Uh, headphone output with a dedicated uh, volume knob. We have word clock in and out. Then we actually have a switch built in. So if you're using uh, an, another switch, you can go straight into this one. Uh, and if you want to use this switch, uh, you flip this toggle and use any of these uh, uh, connections. Then we have MIDI in and out. Um, I haven't used uh, this one, so I don't know, I guess it works. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, we have, let's take a look at the output section. So we have 16 outputs and uh, actually number seven and eight uh, can be uh, either uh, XLR or uh, TRS. Same thing on uh, 15, 16, XLR or uh, TRS. And flipping it around on the back side, we have power, that's it. So let's check out the Ionic. There we go. Uh, so on the Ionic, we have uh, 16 uh, inputs, uh, and these are uh, both XLR and uh, TRS inputs. Uh, we have eight outputs on the front, and we have four more on, on the back. Uh, then we have two separate, another dust cap, two separate uh, headphone outputs that can be fed uh, individually. Turning it around, we have more dust caps. And we have uh, four more outputs, so it's a total of uh, 12 analog outputs. Uh, here we have internal power, or if you want to use an external uh, power, you would use this one. We have a connection for the sound grid, uh, so this one does not have a switch, so you, you would need uh, a separate switch uh, to, to feed into this one. Then we have uh, AES in and out. Uh, so it's uh, two in and two out. All right, so I have launched the uh, LV1 console. Uh, I connect this one to the, the switch within the Tectus stage unit. And from this, I go into the uh, Ionic box. Uh, and if I were to actually run sound through this, I could connect uh, a server into this uh, port and then I don't need any more uh, switches. So let's take a look at the software side of this because they do actually behave uh, quite differently. Uh, and let's dive in. And let's actually start with the Tactus unit. So if we just uh, select a channel and uh, let's say channel one, uh, you will of course be able to run the preamp from, from here or if you have a FITS controller, run it from the, 
the field controller, running the gain and the 48 uh, phantom power. Uh, you can also go into the settings of the stage box and here you have the gain as well. Uh, and on the tech to stage you have from minus 8 up to plus 60. So it's a uh, 60 decibels of gain uh, and then it's 8 uh, decibels uh, of pad. Then let's go to the output tab and here you can set the outputs to uh, 18 or 24 uh, dBU. So depending on what type of unit you are sending to, uh, you can, can uh, change this uh, 6 dB uh, up or down. Then we have the uh, clock tab and this is just uh, information about the, the clock and uh, same on the system, it's just uh, information. And up here it's the ID button and if you have multiple units and you, you're, you're not sure which is which, you can press the ID button here and the status LED light will flash in uh, disco colors. So that's pretty straightforward. I actually never use the, this uh, settings page. I control uh, everything either from the, the channel or with the FIT controller. But with the Ionic 16 box, things are a bit different. So for starters, we can of course just select a channel and we have the gain and the 48 uh, phantom power. Uh, but uh, under the hood, uh, we can go a bit deeper. So let's take a look. Uh, let's go to the settings uh, page for the Ionic box. So here you have again 60 dBs of gain uh, and in this case uh, 3 dB pad. But then there are a few extra features. So you can choose if you want a line or mic uh, level going into the, the unit. With the, the microphone preamp uh, obviously you have a 48 uh, volt phantom power. But then you have a few extra features. So you can toggle between 7 kilo ohms or 2 kilo ohms on the preamp section and this actually changes the impedance of the of the mic preamp itself uh, so it's it's not a plugin it's not software it's it's a, a toggle to choose between uh, 7 or 2 uh, kilo ohms and then you on both of these you can choose to have uh, harmonic distortion or not uh, so basically you have the, the uh, 2 kilo ohms without harmonics, you have it with, you have the 7 kilo ohms without harmonics and with. So it's basically four preamp flavors in one. And the difference is not huge but absolutely uh, noticeable. So the difference is basically with the uh, 2 kilo ohms with harmonic distortion this uh, tends to behave more like an analog uh, console. And if you switch off the harmonic distortion and, and uh, change to 7 kilo ohms, you will have a super clean signal. Really, really super clean, actually. So on the output section, uh, same as with the Tactus unit, you can uh, switch between uh, plus 18 and plus 24. Then again, the, the clock, this is uh, basically just uh, information. Same with the system. And again, up here you have the ID button. Uh, which will make the status uh, LED flash. And what I find with these boxes is that if you send the exact same signal into both of them, uh, the Ionic box, you need to gain uh, 7 dB more than on the uh, Tactus unit. So if you have 10 dBs of gain on this one, uh, this one would need 17 dBs of gain. Uh, not sure why, but that's just the way it is. So let's actually have a listen to both of these. And we have recorded some drums. So the microphones are going to an analog splitter and then feeding into both of these. Uh, so uh, here we go.
So as you can hear, it's not a day and night difference. Uh, I find the Ionic to be a bit, I don't know, faster, a bit snappier. Uh, I find that drums and vocals in particular sounds a bit better on the Ionic than on, on, on the Tactus unit. Uh, and it's not that this sounds bad. I think this sounds r really nice, but this sounds even even better uh, and now we we've only listened to the to the microphone preamps i think the, the there is something going on with the outputs uh, on the ionic as well that makes it sound even even better and especially on in ears it's obvious that these preamps with these outputs uh, it sounds really really good uh, perhaps the 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 best i've ever heard that said, this sounds re really good as well. Uh, when when I had this, I didn't miss anything. But when I got this, uh, things I I could take things to to uh, just to an, another level. So there are pros and cons to both of these. Uh, the biggest issue with the tactics unit is that uh, I've 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 had to to send it for service actually three times. Uh, and uh, I think uh, w one of the time there was some uh, connection loose inside of it. Uh, another time I don't even remember, uh, but I, I lost a few a few uh, channels. Uh, after the last service, uh, everything has has worked uh, absolutely perfect. A big pro with the Tactus units is the built-in switch. So if you're not having a, a, a huge system, uh, you might get by with just uh, this built-in switch. The Ionic box uh, has worked perfectly from day one, not a single issue. And the fact that it has uh, actually 12 outputs is really, really good. So, so with this box, you, you can have five in-ears and still have two, two outputs left for left, right. And if some of the people on stage can get by with uh, wired in-ears, you actually have the two head headphone outputs. So in theory, you can have seven in-ears and still have two outputs for uh, left, right, or or even eight in-ears and go AES to the, to the PA. So the only downside with the Ionic is really the connections in the back. I would prefer to have them on the front, but then again, where would you put them? Uh, the front is full, so uh, yeah, uh, it's fine. So bottom line, uh, with the Tactus uh, stage, you get great value. You get a lot of ins and outs for not all that much money. Uh, if you want the absolute best, the Ionic is the way to go. Uh, this sounds really, really awesome. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Take care.